Okay, this demo is for Megan. Um, Megan, if you want to add a background, your own image background to the Photoshop mockups, you're going to place it right on top of this base layer. The base layer is the background layer. If you double click this thumbnail, you can change the color to whatever you'd like. But uh, if you want to actually add your own image, you're going to select this layer. Don't have another layer selected because uh, when you select this bottom layer, whatever you drag and drop into this mockup is going to go on top of the selected layer. So we have the base layer selected. We're going to go to our finder. Here is the background we're going to use. I'm going to drag this into, oops, I'm going to drag this into the mockup. And then if you click and drag on the corner, you can adjust the size. Notice that the proportions aren't staying the same. It uh, depends on the version of Photoshop you have and the settings you have. If it's doing this, you can push the shift key and that'll keep the proportions the same. I'm also going to hold the option key and that is going to keep it centered. And there we go. Then I have my own background image. So you can do this with any picture that you'd like. In addition to that, if you want to uh, adjust the brightness of the fabric, like you mentioned in your email, you can try decreasing the opacity on the lows. So come into your effects layer, open this up, click on lows, and then up here you see opacity. So 0% opacity is not going to be great, but maybe 50% is going to leave a little bit more brightness than when it was higher, closer to 70. So you can drop that down to 50 for brighter colors and it'll look, uh, it'll pop a little bit more. 